All right. Welcome everyone to episode 28. Hopefully everything goes smoothly this time we'll go around. Uh, today we are joined by ADF's own XO, Dirty Money. You want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Uh, well, thank you for having me. Um, uh, I'm, I am uh, ADF's XO, Dirty. Pretty, pretty known for my reputation as far as so far um yeah that I, I, I don't really know what else to say <laughs> well, yeah, how how long have you been doing milsom um i did milsom a while back for a little bit but unfortunately i'd lost my disc so i wasn't able to participate um the bf4 disc yeah I had never found the disc. I just ended up buying it digitally. Um, and then I took like a three three year break, three or four years, and joined 1PD for uh, I think it was four or five months. Somewhere, somewhere around there. Um, and then after 1PD, I uh, started doing ADF, and that's where I'm at now. All right. Now, you guys just like, had two war docs dropped on you, one of which was done by 1PD, which just ended the other day. Mm -hmm. um, and you have another one against SOCOM D. Um, did those war docs come out like was it a surprise to you or did you expect with the current like current events between your unit and their units did you expect something like that to happen um we honestly didn't think 1pd had the balls to drop war docs and the reason they did was because um every time they tried to raid us we were like no go fuck yourself uh, because they all tried to raid us when either everyone was at work or everyone was at or everyone was asleep. Um, Soco, Socom MD. We had no idea who they were until one PD contacted them, and they started nagging at us about our kit list. Um, I. I don't know the d I don't know what the deal is with so SOCOM D. I think they just jumped on the hype train because one PD dropped war docs, so they're like, "Fuck it, let's do it too." And to my knowledge, that war is still in effect, but they haven't raided us at all without one PD. All right. Um, now the reason, like they, of course, SOCOM D is. Um, Sure, they read the war doc has listed their reasonings behind why they dropped the uh, war doc, and you know, might as well go ahead from like top to bottom. Uh, quick about well, four reasons. Yeah, uh, first I, reason being, go ahead. I have it pulled up. I can, I can see it. Right. Um. So you see, like they say that. ADF command refused to correct several infractions regarding kit lists, as well as there was multiple infractions concerning simulation. Yeah, I don't know what the second one was about. I think it was just about um, the kit list, but eventually we did fix our kit list. Um, someone offered to do the research for us that wasn't Aussie who just handed us a new kit list um, so we adopted um, oh, okay. I'm not sure if there's any confusion but was there any like did anyone say that Aussie Jesus was an Aussie MA an Aussie MA I, I'm not sure uh, I follow MAs are for are there to help people hang on oh 
okay. uh, help units in the community chat. Or um, multiple community chats. Uh, someone mentioned that, or someone thought apparently that Aussie Jesus was in May for the Aussies, which in fact is was oh, two R A R comrade Kyle was in fact uh, Aussie M A as he is still in the Aussie Army. Mm. Um. Uh, go ahead. To our knowledge, or to J and I's knowledge, we did not know Ozzy was an MA, and the way he presented this information was um, very ignorant. Well, no, he, he, yeah, Ozzy Jesus isn't an MA. Yeah. Well, apparently there was some there was a confusion thinking uh, people thinking he was. Um. There's not like the third reasoning. This needs a little more context. Uh, ADF's XO century dirty money attempted to discredit current serving Australian Army MAs or MA just singular. Uh, do you know what that was all about? Um, I believe I do. Uh, I Aussie had pretty much told me use this kit. It was approved by some guy in the military. Knowing Aussie at the time, I didn't believe him. He was not a credible source to me because the information he had put forth was presented ignorantly. And I'll take advice, just not if it's presented ignorantly. Um, right. He also mentioned that it was one guy who approved it, which to me seems a little dumb. But, I mean, I don't fully understand how the official Milsom community works, so if that's how it is, then I guess that's how it is. Alright. And, uh, the last one, as you see, is. is uh, recently saying that you made multiple signer statements towards uh, Milson community and Hayes. I don't know if he was referring to himself or his XO, but I, to my knowledge, have never told a community MA to go fuck themselves. I say it a lot. I will clown on people a lot. Usually in a joking manner, but right. yeah, I mean, I can send you some screenshots of the conversations we had. But all right, yeah. I mean, oh shit, hang on. I was reading the chat. We got killer in here. Okay. I mean, so how was the war between you guys and one uh, one PD? Like, uh, how many raids were there actually? Um. Oh, there were a lot more raid requests than there were raids. I think there was. Um, I think there was probably about five or six total raids, but there was like, There's... there were a couple more request, um, details that we just denied. Um, right. I think... One of Vanguard's claims for that document was, or not for the document, for the denied raid request is that we were on, but we still denied it. No, we were all getting off. <laughs> That's my. Uh, there was re um, reading 1PD's uh, first war doc. Uh, yeah. Reasoning. 
poaching of 1PD members, all sim, refusing details to the server when they were online, that's the one you just mentioned, mm -hmm. and false allegations against 1PD members for false simulation. Um, I don't know about the last one. I just know that I called them out for improper kit lists or uh, attachments they weren't using. Uh, but the poaching of 1PD members was fixed long ago. Like, um, we had right. initially poached, but we ended up fixing it. Because we ended up demoting them, getting them out of our milsim until they had the proper requirements to come in. Okay. Um, of course, we didn't tell them what that was. We kind of hinted at it a little bit, but other than that, no, that that was solved in like ADF's first week. Um, no, I, um, the, as you know already, the war was ended diplomatically. Um, from my understanding, 1PD invited, or 3IC, into their party, said something like, hey, let's end this raid, or whatever. And then, eventually, Jay got involved, and Jay pointed out, like, all of the reasons for them dropping the war dock don't exist anymore. Alright. So, I, they came to an agreement, and they ended the war. I'll be honest, it's actually the first time in a while that we've seen the war last that long. Really? I mean, usually it's just for like a couple of days. Is and that like, why? Is that why there was such big well, news coverage on it? <laughs> it's not the most entertaining thing we've seen in a while. I mean... Because like, every time, usually when war is dropped, not even 24 hours really, uh, Someone will be like, oh, we don't want to do a war, cause, man, it'll just, like, be a raid or something. Oh, dude, that's, and that's not like, a all war. those people were actually getting excited at the fact that it was lasting more than 24 hours. Really? Yeah. Of course, it, if it was up to me, we'd probably still be in war. <laughs> but there's a reason I'm not CO. Um... <laughs> Ah, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, if if you notice, there was like nothing coming from our side during the war. Like there was no, there wasn't really any, um, any stuff calling them out with screenshots or video or we weren't slandering them too much. I've um, seen that. Is because we just don't care. Like you can call us out on our shit, we'll fix it, but we're not gonna call you out on yours, because you should know. One P's been up for a little bit. They they have higher. I guess we have higher standards for them. I guess. Yeah. Like they should know what to use, what not to use, what to do. You know, all the milsim stuff. All right. Um, on our side, though, of course, we have a lot of building to do since we're still a relatively small milsom. Um, we've got some hardened vets in our milsom that we have to teach the new guys. Um, our our basics are really strict. We don't allow anything anymore any goofing off team killing etc and it's really hard on the recruits a lot of the recruits don't even end up making it through BCT because 
it's pretty intense. Is that a year too rough for them, or are... Yeah. Or they, they just don't have the commitment. Yeah. Mm. So I say, well, now, like, people are, nowadays, people are trying to uh, go into the whole esports or cop gaming. So. Uh, we had a few people like that, and we were like, nope, that's not what this is. <laughs> I have to fuck, uh, I, we had. Man, they should try, I mean, they should try Face Clan, because we all know that fucking. They just kicked, they kicked out K and fucking suspended a few other a few other people. Oh yeah, I saw crypto that. Crypto scam. I saw that. I uh, I watched Keemstar's coverage on that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure K and one other person is about to get sued for that. Yeah. yeah they're being investigated by the uh, federal government. So, so that should be interested. Some pretty big no no stuff going on over there. <laughs> yeah. All it really was is just, it was a pump and dump. Yeah. Pretty much. And the more K spoke yeah, about it, know. the more guilty he seemed. But regardless. Alright. Oh. That's practically all I had all the questions really I had for you. <laughs> Such a short stream. You sure you want to end it now? Uh, I had other. I had an idea for it. keep going, but that shit's lost. I mean, you could still ask him. It's not like it's gone forever. Uh, we had a so war. <laughs> a long one too, apparently. Do you, do you expect? Do you expect this uh, war with SOCOM D to continue? Oh, absolutely not. Every time uh, SOCOM, uh, SOCOM D was in a raid was because one PD needed help and they brought them in. Mm -hmm. SOCOM D has never raided us, just them. I'm pretty sure they have like, what, five, six guys? Or do I eight? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, I will commend Aussie though for being a damn good soldier on the field. Went fucking over a hundred kills each raid he was in. That was pretty gnarly. Shit. Though, a lot of the times um, we were outnumbered to one PD, either because they had brought in people or they just had more guys than we did. But um, ultimately, we ended up defending against them pretty well on uh, either Metro or Locker. We... Uh, was, was it your team that did the whole, uh, was doing the whole uh, hijack? Well, not hijack, but, like, they would send people into the enemy spawn to take the vehicles? Oh, yeah. We did that. So we were asking about that, and, like, that's not really a no-no, but... That was that was hilarious. Kind of, uh, like cheesy shit. Like, people, like all all the units will get like pissed off about that shit. Oh well, fuck. We don't care. If you can't defend your assets in your own spawn, I think you kind of deserve to get it stolen. But well, wasn't it done before they spawned in? No, they were all spawned in. Yeah. Um. Um. Although during that raid, Aussie switched to our team, went commander, and dropped a cruise missile on us. That was fun. I heard, I heard about that, but like I've yet to hear or I yet to see any actual proof other than someone saying, "Oh, this happened." Like that, yeah. Anyone could say anything, really, but and I could just dismiss as hearsay. I just commended him for being a good soldier on the field. I don't think making <laughs> up anything would be. On my side here. Oh no, like a lot of people, other than going by someone's word, they want to see. No, I actual understand proof. that. The only proof we really have is Aussie being in commander spot on our team. Yeah, that's, that's the only uh, screenshot I've seen of that situation. It's. Uh, I mean. I mean, we have. Picture speaks a thousand words, but like. 
they want to see like if there, someone clipped the whole cruise missiles thing and but like at least where it shows like them in the field and like you see the kill feed light up with Ozzy Jesus cruise missile this guy or that guy yeah and that's pretty much solidifies it well I mean one PD even said that like Ozzy did that I have a screenshot of that yeah I, I seen it as a I forgot to do his name like if your own allies call you out for something that you claim you didn't do, but you really did do it, what does that tell you? Hmm. Like, uh, this is a little stubborn. I want to, I want to see, like, full on. Of course, everyone like wants to see that, but it was, it was like in the middle of the night. We were all tired and really think about it. Oof. Only killed one guy, so. <laughs> Like, oh, shit. Oh, fuck, I got we all heard, like, cruise missile, or friendly cruise missile being launched, and we're, we were all like, there's no way he just did that. And then fucking Jay was, like, screaming at us, like, fucking move. So. <laughs> And then oh, one, the, no, the one guy it killed, he got stuck on a fucking stump in an, in an M-Rap. <laughs> we, were like, we were all oh, like, fuck. dude, move. He's like, I can't, I'm stuck on a stump. fucking <laughs> tired. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, that's, that's just comical right there. That whole raid was awesome. Like... One, this was before 116 pulled out of the war. So there was like three of their guys assisting us. And why, we had, why did 116. I don't think anyone answered that. Why did 116 pull out? Um, to my, From what I was told, they pulled out because they didn't like the heat they were getting. Because every time 116 was in a raid with 1PD, 3BO and RU would come in. And. Oh, shit. Uh, 116 was raiding 1PD on Dragon Valley and Fee Only. And 3BO and RU came in. And it did not turn out very well for 116. Although, Shit. during that, that raid, um, 1PD was also raiding us. So they had thinned their forces pretty slim. Uh, but we ultimately ended up spawn trapping one PD. It's like a hard spawn trap too. It was it was a massacre. That's what that was. Um Yeah, it didn't it didn't bode well for one sixteen. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. <sighs> um, I'm still going to wait for, you know. Oh, right, well, I got, I got something to talk about. <laughs> well, I was just, I'm just checking the chat right now. Mm. Apparently, uh, according to Vanguard, ADF never acknowledged 116 as an ally, helping them though. Or, well, no, real knowledge, officially. Well, wait, no, there goes Killer. We we never dropped war dogs on one PD. It was just one PD on us. So not one sixteen was not officially helping us out, but they were um they were helping us out. <clears throat> helping us out. Um oh, damn. during the war we had no intentions of dropping a war dog. Mainly because, you know, one PD stakes were so high, and I don't know, I don't quite know the rule for war ducks, but the the terms were so bogus. I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not doing that. We'll just we'll just have you rate us for a couple days because we were never offense during that war 
We were before the war, not during it. Um, so went from like defensive raid or something like that. Pretty much. It was for ADF. It was all defensive. Um. Although. I'm not sure if you read the rules of engagement on that doc, but let me just let me just read it out. Firewatch For must be readily yeah. Firewatch okay. must be readily available and set to full assets at all times. Both units will run their appropriate kits. Both sides must follow the current Milsom rules and regulations. If any soldier from either side fails to follow the rules and regulations after two warnings with proof, screenshot and video, said soldier is banned from the rest of, it, of the engagement, regardless of unit and rank. During the entire war, none of those was um, followed. There was no firewatch readily available. All of our, most of our uh, deep raids was set to Infi only. Um, no one from either side was banned from the rest of the engagement. All right. And the terms. Now I understand that um, my CO and 3IC talked to 1PD and came up with new terms. But at the same time, those new terms were not ideal for, for me, at least. Um, although at least we're not being raided every day, so that's that's new. Yeah. Um. One PD you wanted us to be an attachment. I said no. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, shit. According to my CEO, the original terms were far worse than they are now. Um, I think one of those terms is that we had to be in a coalition with yeah, I them. Yeah, I've seen that one. Jay, my CEO has joined the coalition. I have not. So. And 1PD seems to be getting real froggy with 116 lately. Not sure if you've noticed that. I'm not sure if that... No, I don't think I have. Can bear it, we... You barely see one PD, oh not one PD, one sixteen. Um, um, on Twitter since they got since their account got suspended for posting bestiality porn. Oh, I remember hearing it was about a, that. It was a picture, but that was enough to where Twitter's like, "Yeah, you're done." Even though there's literal porn on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen I have seen those it's, pages. I mean, there is literal porn up for lawsuits. Like some, it's like some, some random uh, dude got uh, account suspended for so-called porn or uh, illicit pictures. That mm -hmm. person could technically take fucking Twitter to court. It's like you allow like what's a shit ton of fucking screenshots and pictures. It's just like you allow these people to fucking post. Uh, titty pics and uh, nude pics and fucking dead writing fucking dildos and shit, but you suspend him for um, for fucking for uh, illicit pictures. soft core porn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I've uh, that's that's that could be a lawsuit worth fucking thousands. Could, but bro, guy probably doesn't have enough money to hire a lawyer. Hire a lawyer. Well, I'm pretty sure a lawyer would just waver until like once the court's done or uh, court case is done, and just like get a cut of the fucking money they got. 
I mean, I've. But I don't really cut, like, no, no charges. Like, or it's just what he'll owe us. And, like, he'll. The guy, whoever, some Joe Schmo who suits Twitter, is like, oh, that shit covered. Mm. I have seen I mean, literal it's like, it's accounts like how, uh, selling porn. It's like, uh. Why the fuck would you want to buy porn? Just Pornhub. I know. Free porn. It's it's literally free <laughs> it's <so> porn. <laughs> I don't understand why Only people fans, buy yeah. porn. Only fans are for retards who can't fucking. Uh, Only fans are for sips. So yeah, fuck. Oh, I could get fucking shut down for that. Let's <laughs> just. No, oh, dude. Tw I... Twitch is just full of sips right now, man. Cause think uh, about this. There's a there was an episode a while back where Twitch was banning like. Banning people left and right for so-called porn or whatnot, and yet they would have fucking other streamers doing fucking like something like softcore porn or whatever, and they would just like get a slap on the wrist. Mm. Like hell, we have there is one girl. I'm pretty sure anyone if I say this, like anyone who just fucking keep up with this shit will know who the hell I'm talking about. She gave her cat like vodka, like. Some other Are you shit. talking about a Lenny? A Lenny? Hey. Or whatever? <laughs> hey, you know that fucking uh, shit. She. <laughs> um, Dude, she only got well, banned for like what? A couple days? Yeah, well, I only know about it because Keemstar um, reported yeah, on Keemstar it. Keemstar and Scarce are talking about it. Well, she literally. She shows her vagina and throws her cat over her shoulder, which. The second one. I'm, I don't really care. I toss my the cat. cat all the, did time. Her, the cat did her. The cat did get her back. So, uh, somewhat. Mm. Well, but showing off her funny. vagina live stream, like on on live stream. I'm not sure. Uh, what well, isn't sure she? Was, isn't uh, she supposed to be a, a a gaming streamer too? Supposedly. I don't know about you, but showing your vagina on screen does not seem very gamer-like to me. Well, so, yeah, someone's saying that she has a Twitch mod, and, uh, like, she's DM, like, she DM Twitch mod for some other shit. And, like... Oh, those Twitch mods are fucking... Twi yeah, Twitch simps. mods are the major fucking simps. They're Holy almost, fuck, They're dude. almost like Discord moderators. Except they're not the as Discord, fat. Yeah, Discord moderators are known to be pedophiles. Oh, for sure. Speaking of which, just a little quick shout out. He-Man is out <laughs> on Netflix right now. Nice. Fucking Kevin Smith's version. Um. So. I mean, fucking. Uh, fuck, I can't remember. There's my cat is still that, in here. What? My cat is still in my room. Hello, kitty. <laughs> I know uh, there's a uh, there was shit going on with a Discord moderator that uh, got pretty much uh, called out because he was wondering like, oh, if you do this, I can fucking hook you up with this and this and this. It's like. I can't remember the fucking details, it's been a while, but it shit was kind of fucked. Ugh, fuck. So, I've heard a lot of things about, um, um, a character named Lurch. Yeah, Old Man Lurch. I have no idea who that is. He's a 4ID XO. 4ID? Yeah. Isn't he supposedly supposedly the uh, the father of Milsom? Something like that. But I've I've heard I've heard that. Um, <laughs> I have I have heard that, and it's I was I I thought that was a little bit weird, but I'm not going to question it mainly because you know maybe maybe he's the guy who created Milsom. I don't know. Um. So, how has Battlefield Milsom been around for like as long as Battlefield came out? Has been around. 
Uh, yeah, like the Milson community uh, started back in like BF3 days. Really? Just carry over to just BF4, BF3? BF1, BF5. I'm not sure just BF3, but like the latest I've seen was BF3. Oh, dude, I thought it would have gone back. It gone way further I'm pretty back. Sure it has. What? Like, um, what's the name of it? It was Battlefield. Bad Company? Bad Company, yeah. I'm pretty sure something like that was the case. Uh, but, I mean. I um, mean. You also have armor, so that, like. I guess well, I understand armor. Armor. Then again, I've yeah. never played armor, so I don't really know what it's like. But I have played. I've. I've played DayZ. I've been on factions on DayZ. Roleplay is really not my thing on that. It just seems weird. Like, who the fuck wants to be in handcuffs for three hours? Or dragged around by the military police? Um. Shit. 